Hello, this is Mike Liver from Northern Kentucky University. I'm here with the amazing Amanda Verrett. And today we're going to start part two of the Second Life NAV system. Hey, Amanda, what do you have for us today? I have been on pins and needles. Can't wait to find out how this program works. Well, last time we talked about importing the paper vision classes and setting up the private variable functions. Okay, here we are in Flex 3. Last time we talked about importing the paper vision uh, classes and setting up these private variables and today we're going to talk about the functions. The functions are the heart of the paper vision engine. After the application is complete there is um, a function in the top line of code that's the initiation function and that will initialize the elements of paper vision so that will call in all the different parts of the scene like the render engine, the camera, and viewport. So I see here in the application MX tag, Amanda, you have the uh, the function uh, called uh, INIT. So when the application is complete, what does it do? It initializes the functions. So this fires the function, and down here in the code lower below, we have the INIT function. And this is all the stuff you talked about last time, right? Right. If you'd like further explanation on these different parts of the paper vision uh, codes and functions, look to our last tutorial for full explanations. So I see uh, you t discussed the viewport and the renderer and the scene and the camera. They're all here. That's fantastic. Uh, what happens uh, after that? Okay, so after those elements are initialized, two different things happen. Uh, it creates objects and it adds listeners. So I see right here you have a create objects uh, function and a create or add events listener. So both of these functions are fired, and here they are below. Uh, why don't you say a little bit about those? Okay, the create objects function places all of the cylinders within the scene. Um, you know, you, so you can in the code you specify the number, the array, and you use uh, mathematic formulas for the placement within the scene, as you can see here. Place an object, number of cylinders. Here are some of our equations for the uh, rotation and placement around a circle. What does the add listeners function do? The add listeners activates uh, the keyboard navigation, such as the arrows and the page up and page down. And it also starts the render engine. So I can see your add listener uh, engine right here, and you have three add listeners. There's one for the key up and one for the key down, and one for the inner frame. Uh, what's the frame rate of Flex? Flex's frame rate is 24 frames per second. So I see your render function right here. It has a number of functions in it. What are these if statements all about? Those all have to do with the navigation around your 3D scene. Uh, we had to use both sine and cosine to make sure that the navigation functions operated correctly as you rotated through the scene. Okay, I see that right down here. Here's our switch case. So when you press a key down, your booleans are set, and that's picked up by the render engine. Is that correct? That's correct. And that's all there is to it? That's it. Oh, fantastic, Amanda. This was great code. And you know what? I'm going to use this uh, on my next project. And that is the Omega Code or the Bible Code Project, which should be on uh, YouTube fairly soon, or maybe on YouTube before this video. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see that on there. Thanks for all the great work. This has really helped us out a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people who are getting into paper vision will use this tutorial to help them get started. I hope so. And I look forward to the next great project by Amanda Verrett.